Hello and welcome to a special edition of Gadget Guru and we are out here essentially celebrating what our match last week. Wasn't it a fantastic match? Which one? The, the West Indies versus uh, the, the, the 370, the, oh, the, the Chris match, Gale, the Gale Storm. A really exceptional match with such a fantastic outcome that everyone's been talking about. The Afghanistan before. match you mean? No, I was referring to the Gadget Guru cricket showdown between you and me. No, really, I, I, I'm, I'm well fought. No, well, thank you so much. Well thank you very well much. And, and you, you know, me here to give me the I, I have to say though to everybody on Twitter, everything that you people wrote and you know who I'm talking about, you got that right. Why did I actually tank the match? Oh, Why did I make yes, sure yes, yes. that the match that yes, I had almost yes, won, yes, yes. I gave away all the reasons you people gave with the hashtags yes, 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 yes. and the three anybody, letters in between. Called. Anybody who believes that, you know. <laughs> You're watching Gadget Guru. We are out here. With these projectors, which I'm no doubt there's a good reason we're here looking oh, at Oh yes, a very we're good reason. Going to this. Here's the entire rundown on today's show. And okay, Rajiv. So BenQ projector. It's a BenQ projector, a dongle that goes into it, and I'm playing that clip from the phone. It's not my phone because suddenly you'll be like, "Why am I so inspired by Paris? I've just borrowed this." This Try is playing let wirelessly. Let me get this, let me get this just thing. a clip on so the till now, Till now, projectors have essentially been about taking a projector like this, wiring it up with lots of HDMI. Yeah, and thick, cables. fat cables. In fact, they say setting up a projector, the biggest problem, take a source which will usually be in the front and run a wire till there. So these projectors, ultra short throw, you can keep but it about a is, meter. This is wireless, very acceptable quality and you're streaming from a mobile. But you're, you're not believing me, right? You're thinking I'm playing this from a source. No, I, I will believe give you, you more proof. I believe you. No, no, I'll, I'll give you. I'll After all the, the fibs that you said, I will give you some more very, match. very interesting proof. Now, this is where things get even more interesting. Watch this. I'm watching it saying happy casting. Ah, live video. Yes, so I'm not just playing a source video. I can actually do this live. I mean, now we could shoot the whole show like this and you would be out there. You could talk into this camera and give the link. I so, think this is a very cool thing because you, you pretty much described it. The biggest problem with most projectors. You know, what I'm actually liking is the resolution is very decent. Yeah, so For straight from the camera. Motion blur. <laughs> I'm sort of stuck on motion become, blur. I mean, it's, it's, it's become your forte now that every no, because, single thing. Because there's really a reason for it. And I've now also been told, by the way, that one of the reasons why you could be seeing motion blur on the 4K televisions and the telecast as it is right now is because you need 50 frames per second. So that's something we have to test so out. So that means something. we have to be very, very careful what 4K TV do you buy. It's not only about buying the best panel. I think there's a whole lot more that you need to be okay. careful about. I think so, that's pretty so good. Tell us, so, so let's discuss more and tell us two people they this projector so a couple of interesting points in this short throw obviously which there are a number of projectors about a meter in, and a half you can get a hundred plus inch like we're getting here right now number one number two what i find very interesting again not only do you not to need to run a cable to it you can set a blu-ray uncompressed and it'll actually be able to stream it wirelessly the other part is that you can actually set this anywhere in the room no wire and also it's anywhere in the room in terms of location so you can put it in the absolute corner there and because it has a 2D keystone, you know what they call a side throw projection, you can have it in one corner, you'll still get a central image anywhere you want. So I think for the kind of placement problems one goes through, the amount of finesse you need to just set it up, this so could actually, be... This can become, if you're doing something wi wirelessly with, with this projector, others like it, you can just sort of, it's much easier to set up. You don't have to spend hours... And the part that I think, if all of it turns out to be true, is that this could be literally a portable projector. Take it to your bedroom, all you do is power it in, no wires to be taken to it, and no real setup But required. I would like to see a testing of the quality. So, okay, let's, so let's do that, let's put it through its paces and see how good the quality is when you're doing all of that. Projectors, the one piece in your home entertainment system you may be missing out on. They give you picture sizes anywhere between 70 to 100 inches and cost half of what a TV that size would cost you. The real question is if the quality is up to par with your big 80 inch TV sitting in your living room. With that question in mind, we take a look at two projectors from BenQ, the W1080ST and the W1070. Short throw projectors have come a long way in recent years. With projectors like the BenQ 1080ST needing just 1.5 meters to project an image up to 100 inches, which means better organization, no more wires jutting out from the ceiling or in a tangled mess somewhere. They can be set up relatively cleanly while remaining discreet. All this is good, but how is the image, you might ask? Considering the price, well, not too bad. 
There's faithful color reproduction, good brightness, sharp details, and a full 1080p 100-inch image. Perfect to watch the World Cup on with the family. The 1080ST is powered by a 240W lamp with 2000 lumens and a 10000 is to 1 contrast ratio and 1.2x manual zoom. And if you're buying this for the 3D, know that the glasses aren't included in the package and cost extra. Another thing we noticed is that the projector tends to run quite loud, which isn't a deal breaker, but that constant humming noise you will hear is most definitely not coming from your speakers. Design wise, well, it looks like a projector should which may seem like we are being too harsh on it, but sleek modern style projector designs are in and BenQ kinda misses the boat on that. On the flip side, it doesn't nearly cost as much as those better looking projectors, so you're buying these for the functionality. Which brings us to the connectivity and it seems like BenQ has quite a lot to offer here as well. Two HDMI ports, VGA, RS-232 port to integrate into a home automation system and a USB port. The 1080ST also supports a Wi-Fi dongle sold separately which enables wireless connectivity. So there's a lot on offer here. The 1080ST retails for about 1,25,000. If you're not particularly keen on short throw tech and want a bigger image size than the 100 inch 1080 ST gives you, well you might want to consider the W1070. Capable of giving you a 200 inch 1080p image with image quality and sharpness that is excellent for the price it retails at. Capable of 2000 lumens brightness and a 10000 is to 1 contrast ratio. Again like the 1080 ST it runs a little loud, but not loud enough to drown out your lightsabers or rapid gun fire. And like the 1080ST, if you want 3D, you're going to have to buy the glasses separately. The W1070 retails for Rs. 1,10,000.